Hey guys, we're going to do a Polish woven nymph. <clears throat> this is a G, Kanapic G, size 10 hook. Um, we've got a 4 millimeter bead. This is 0.02 lead wrapped on there, kind of tapered. You can flatten that lead um, before you put it on and then at the back end and give you a little bit of a taper. And we're going to use uh, 8 dot brown thread. Let's go ahead and start wrapping it back. And I'm just going to cover some of that lead just to secure it a little bit. Clip off that excess. I'm going to get some uh, fine yellow wire. Put it in the back. And wrap it all the way back down to where you stuck with the thread. Come back up. Then you're going to need some embroidery thread. I've got a brown and a, a gold. Um, you can get this stuff at Michael's or any craft store. Um, pick, put one on one side, run it down the fly with the hook. Go up, and we're gonna get you get the gold. Do the same thing on the other side. Just run it down that side. Come back up to the top, and then we're just gonna. Um, do a quick whip finish and then just hit it twice and just snip it and when you take your thread leave it out of your a bobbin there so you and leave it uh, on standby kind of close by so you can grab it because you'll need it later now I'm going to change angles so you can get a better view of what we're trying to do here Alright guys, so you've got your two colors here, um, your gold is going to cover the belly of the fly, uh, that brown is going to cover your back, okay, get both in both hands, keep it tight, keep tension, I'm trying to do this slow so you can see what we're doing here, cover your belly, cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back cover the belly cross your threads cover the back Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Cover the belly, cross your threads, cover the back. Alright, right here. Um, get a hold of it. This is kind of the tricky part. Keep a hold of that. Get your um, your thread right here and put it. Just stick it in there and with your fingers. Where you, where you've got the hold of the thread. Then come in here and start that. And then try to catch those threads. So you won't lose them. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to our original angle. Alright, now we're back back at original camera angle and then just
kind of get in there and tie all this stuff off. Get you a couple wraps. And then clip off that excess. Uh, and take your wire and start wrapping up and rib this fly. You're gonna use the kind of the weave is gonna guide you along the way, okay? And once you get up here, just tie that wire off, get in front of it, and get behind of it, lock it down, snip it. drop back just a little bit and I'm gonna get some uh, dubbing wax and we're gonna dub the, dub it up here and I'm gonna get um, some peacock dubbing this is peacock eye it's a little got a little flash to it um, Start dubbing that. <clears throat> and then just go ahead and get your whip finisher. And finish it off one, two. Snip off your excess. You know, you can kind of trim the top there a little bit. And I'll get my little Velcro and pull it out a little bit. Um, there you go. You see how you got that two tone look? Really neat. And it's, you know, it's going to take a little bit of practice. Um, you might not, you know, get it on the first try. Just go slow and um, and try, you know, do a couple different flies. And, you know, you can, the color scheme is endless. You can do whatever colors you like. And the thing about it is you start picking up rocks and start looking underneath. Um, a lot of these bugs, you know, got the two-tone, you know, their, their backs are... Uh, different color and then you got the bellies that are usually lighter color so this really imitates that when you turn it like that you can kind of see how it looks like it's got uh, it's got a little bit of, of legs you know like they're coming coming out um, really neat um, so get out there and do some weaving it's really fun. There you go. Polish woven nymph.